So uh, let me introduce myself. Hi, hello. I am Takuro Wada, and uh, I am a software engineer from uh, Kabuku uh, Inc. Uh, and Kabuku Inc. is a Japanese startup located in Tokyo uh, since uh, 2013. And uh, uh, we will provide uh, some service related to 3D printing. And uh, uh, this is uh, my uh, Twitter and the GitHub and uh, my website, so please check it. And uh, yeah. Uh, today's session title is uh, 3D Printing by Python Script in Blender. And uh, so what's 3D printing? So uh, what can I do with 3D printing? So uh, before I speak uh, Python and Blender, I want to talk about uh, 3D printing. Yeah, so what is 3D printing good at? Uh, so, uh, is there anyone who has experience of 3D printing? Oh, okay, so many people. Okay, okay. So, uh, one is a good uh, category for 3D printing is that uh, shape that metal molding is not good at. Uh, for example, uh, uh, this iPhone case. Uh, this iPhone case uh, look like normal iPhone case, but uh, if you look closely, uh, there are two layers. So uh, this is not good for metal molding. Uh, this is a screen capture of a uh, Blender screen. Yeah, and uh, uh, this is uh, also, uh, uh, this kind of shape is not good for uh, metal molding as well. Uh, this is um, a kind of chain structure. And uh, customize uh, is good for 3D printing. Uh, for example, uh, this is an uh, example of my company's project. Uh, uh, very famous uh, Japanese uh, traditional sword craftsman uh, made uh, one special sword, and uh, uh, we made a sword case uh, for the sword uh, by 3D printer. A transparent uh, sold case. So we uh, scanned the uh, sold by a 3D scanner and made 3D data. And another example is this. Uh, uh, this project is uh, uh, done by uh, done with uh, Toyota, uh, one of the largest car manufacturers in Japan, and uh, uh, we created customized part for each customer uh, by 3D printer. And the personal thing is good for uh, a good, uh, uh, oh sorry, uh, 3D printing is also good at personal things. Uh, for example, uh, I'm using uh, this stacking box uh, on my desk, and I download this uh, data from Thingiverse and print it in my uh, printer. And uh, uh, but uh, it's very good for me, but uh, if I try to find uh, this kind of books uh, in the shop, uh, it's very difficult. So, uh, but if you have 3D printer, uh, just create 3D model. It's very easy. And this is an uh, example of a uh, toolbox. Uh, uh, if you use 3D printer, you can uh, create this, uh, this kind of fine details. And uh, a ready-made hack is also interesting uh, for a 3D printer. Uh, for example, uh, uh, we made pet bottle cap, uh, 3D data, and attach uh, handle uh, for kids. So uh, we uh, change uh, ordinary pet bottle uh, into uh, baby baby bottle. And this is also pet bottle project. Uh, we attach handle and tube, so uh, uh, we made a water pot uh, from pet wall. Yeah, that's interesting. And this is uh, also another example of a ready-made hack. Uh, my colleagues made this uh, red attachment of the uh, upper sound about the display, and she put uh, the USB uh, sub display on the upper sound and a percent of both, both display. Uh, yeah. 
And yes, are, this is a kind of example of the ready-made hack. Uh, I made uh, this keycap for uh, keyboard by 3D print, uh, 3D printed and painted it uh, by my favorite color. Yeah, this is good. And uh, this is Boko. Uh, actually, Boko is not made by a 3D printer. Boko is uh, very famous uh, in Japanese as a family robot. And uh, his cute face is very famous in Japan. And well, we customize it like this. Yeah. So uh, we changed his face. And uh, in this season, uh, we have to make this. Yeah. Uh, it's very interesting, very fun. And uh, uh, maybe almost all of uh, you are thinking about who is this guy. And uh, uh, this guy is our company CEO, so it would be great if you could remember his face. Thank you. And by the way, uh, this moves like this. Okay, so again, oh. Sound. Quick. Okay, so uh, uh, for the, uh, uh, for up to here, uh, I introduce my uh, 3D uh, no, uh, up to here, I introduced 3D printing uh, technology, and so uh, let's talk about Python and the Blender. And uh, uh, first, uh, why uh, do I uh, need to use uh, scripting for 3D modeling? Yeah, yeah, uh, because uh, I'm not 3D designer or creator, but software engineer, so uh, it is easier for me to uh, learn uh, run or uh, try to write Python script uh, than to learn uh, how to uh, create 3D model uh, in Blender GUI. Uh, so let's try. Okay, let's try. Uh, yeah, so uh, we've already written several articles about uh, Blender 3D CG modeling with Python scripts. And uh, I posted it at uh, our service blogs. Uh, but uh, the article are, uh, are written uh, only in Japanese, so uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, yeah. Huh. But uh, we also have sample codes in GitHub, so if you go there, uh, you can download the scripts. But uh, very basic scripts. Yeah, so let, let's get started. Uh, this is a very basic script for uh, creating module by Python scripts. And this script, is, uh, this script cons consists of two parts. Uh, one part is uh, delete default object parts, and uh, an, uh, other parts is uh, add com part. And uh, if you do not modify setup.blend file, uh, and when you launch the uh, when you launch your Blender, uh, the Blender has uh, one cube, uh, one camera, and uh, one light. So uh, if you uh, do uh, actually, I wanted to do, uh, I have to delete such kind of object. Uh, this is delete all part. So uh, in this script, I just add a con, add one con. And if you kick. Uh, script. If you want to kick script, uh, type Blender and uh, dash uh, large P option in the script name. Then uh, the con will be up here. Uh, it's not uh, interesting because we are writing programming, so uh, I want to use programming, some programming technique. So uh, I modified the previous code uh, like this. Uh, yeah, uh, so in the add multiple count with rotation method, uh, I'm using a for loop technique. So uh, in this method, uh, I, I'm creating uh, 16 uh, cons and apply uh, random rotation. 
and uh, keep keep mind that uh, if you uh, if you try to create a 3D model for 3D printing, and uh, uh, there are multiple uh, objects in your Blender file, uh, you should uh, apply Boolean union operation. Mm -hmm. Uh, otherwise, uh, some print uh, does not uh, uh, print your model well. So, okay. So, if I run this code, uh, the result is uh, like this. Yeah, and uh, I I try to 3D print it. Yeah, like this. Yeah. So next tutorial. And uh, I applied uh, previous uh, sample. Uh, I applied uh, sorry. I applied deform modifier to a previous example. And uh, to do so, I uh, added this uh, two method. Uh, first method is add arrow object method. Uh, this object, this method is uh, creating arrow object to define the uh, center of uh, deform modifier. Uh, then uh, I use uh, make deform method to uh, deform the uh, array of con. And uh, if I run this code, uh, the result is like this. Okay, okay. So I I try to uh, I of course try to uh, 3D print it, uh, but it fails. Yeah, it's very common in uh, 3D printing. Uh, so if you try to uh, 3D print something, uh, keep in keep mind that uh, direction is uh, important. So I change the direction of print. So uh, I did it. So yeah, very 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 good. And so what is this? Uh, this is wristband bracelet. Uh, and uh, I used a random function. So this is only one bracelet in the world, yeah. And uh, this bracelet is uh, maybe good for, uh, maybe good uh, if we fight. Yeah, this is so of so offensive bracelet. And this is, uh, uh, yeah, uh, script for beginners. And uh, from now on, I I want uh, I want to introduce my uh, project of uh, Python scripting. So first project is branch like model. So what is branch like modeling? The simple algorithm is uh, this. So first uh, defines root node, and uh, then I uh, add the two branch uh, to the root node, and uh, uh, one one edge of the uh, branch it will be the center of uh, child node. So I add uh, child one node, then I apply the uh, same algorithm to uh, child one node, and so blah blah blah. Yeah, this is the algorithm. Okay, so uh, so to achieve this algorithm, I made uh, this uh, this kind of method: add branch and add node. Yeah, so let me demo this program. Yeah, uh, actually, I will introduce Sverichok afterwards. So, uh, yeah, from now I run the uh, branch like Mosring. Yeah, this, this is the result. So, this is a, a root node, and he has uh, two. To maybe this and this two branch and uh, uh, this and this is a child one node. So, but this uh, shape is not uh, interesting or uh, beautiful. So, so I applied uh, subdivision uh, modifier. Okay, run again.
Okay, so uh, this time, uh, uh, ju just uh, just a little weird about uh, kind of organic shape. So uh, I very, I'm very, I, I, I'm sorry, uh, I like it. <laughs> I love it, this kind of organic shape, uh, but it's weird. And uh, uh, interesting point of uh, scripting modeling is uh, changing number is uh, very easy, or add some rule uh, for your script is very easy. So I modified this program and uh, uh, create a new script, but almost all sec uh, almost same script. And if I run this code, uh, I can make this. It's very weird and disgusting shape, but uh, I love it. Uh, it uh, looks like uh, face for face hugger in area movie. Very very weird, but yeah, very good. Yeah, so back to Stray. Okay. So, uh, of course, I 3D printed uh, such kind of model. Uh, this is a uh, uh, fast script model, and uh, he has so many support materials, so uh, it takes uh, 30 minutes to remove support. It's very, it was so messy task. And this is comparison of actually 3D printed model and uh, model in screen. Uh, this is a uh, 3D printed one uh, with second script. Uh, in this state, so uh, weird, but uh, uh, this photo is uh, taking support material. Uh, when I taking support material, so so disgusting. But but I love it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this is the first project, and uh, uh, second project is chain modeling. Yeah, this project is. Uh, published by another creator, and this chain is uh, made for uh, watches uh, like Pebble. And uh, this is a brief movie. Yeah, it moves so uh, freely, so Oh, sorry. So uh, when I uh, when I saw uh, this model for the first time, I was so impressed, and I thought that I want to uh, make longer one. The, by the way, uh, are, oh sorry. Okay. Okay. By the way, uh, I have this printer in my office, and this printer uh, called. It's called Affinia, and this is one of the famous printer all over, all over the world. And uh, this printer has a printer bit uh, like this, so 50 centimeters times 50 centimeters. So uh, when I try to uh, make a long, long chain, uh, first I think a line-based approach uh, like this. But uh, using this approach, uh, the maximum length of the chain uh, will be around 40 centimeter or so. So it, it's not interesting. So I changed my plan, a spiral based approach. So I will show the demo of this code. Okay. So, yeah, the chain was made. Yeah, it's good. And, uh, and for create this chain, uh, uh, before uh, create uh, this chain, I made uh, this uh, unit module. <laughs> Uh, because the uh, unit module uh, 
uh, uh, which was published by another creator is not go good for my script, so I made it uh, by myself. And I also 3D printed it. Yeah, this kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. And I was so excited to see this model because it looks like a uh, cake. So I was so happy to see it. So uh, then, uh, yeah, this is a picture uh, where I taking support material. Uh, maybe it took uh, one, one or two hours to take support material. And this is the uh, result. Uh, this is maybe uh, one meter long or so. And when I uh, saw this chain to my colleagues, uh, he he said that uh, more longer one because he likes jumping rope. So he want to uh, try jumping rope uh, with a 3D printed rope. So I tried to make a longer one with the script, but uh, as I mentioned, uh, script modeling is so easy to change number, so I change this, uh, now is uh, 200, but uh, change 500, and uh, okay, run again. So uh, it takes more time uh, than previous one, uh, but the model was created. Okay, so big one. Okay, 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 very good. So, so back to slide. Okay, longer one. Yeah. So of course I, I three D printed it. Uh, this times uh, I made mango cake. Yeah, and uh, uh, it took. Uh, five or six hours to uh, taking support material, so it was so messy task. And this is the result. Uh, by the way, uh, I bring the uh, both of chain, so if we want to see or touch it, uh, you can uh, come afterwards. This is a second one. This uh, has maybe 2.5 meters long. Okay. Okay, uh, next project, uh, and the final project I would like to talk today is uh, Sverichok. And uh, maybe some of you know uh, know about this plugin uh, add-on of Blender. Uh, this is a screen of Sverichok, and Sverichok is a node editor to generate 3D geometry. And uh, I created a new uh, node uh, of Sverjok. Uh, the uh, node is a UDP client node. And uh, I sent a pull request uh, maybe one or two months ago, and it uh, has been already merged to master branch, so uh, you can use this node. And I've written introduced article in my website, so uh, you can check uh, how to use it in my website. Uh, but it's not uh, difficult uh, to use. Uh, if you are a developer, uh, you are familiar with these kind of words, so yeah. And uh, so what can I do with this node? Yeah, so uh, so uh, this node enables a severe joke to communicate with another uh, program outside of Blender. So uh, for example, uh, I made uh, this kind of configuration. So uh, play music in iTunes and send it uh, max MSP to analyze sound. Then a max MSP sent to uh, Node.js uh, web server to combat protocol. And finally, uh, Sverichok in Blender uh, received the signal uh, from Node.js server. And uh, what will happen? Okay, I try. I show you demo. Okay. Yeah, this is Max. And yeah, this is a actual uh, 
their job code. Yeah. Then uh, I press on in iTunes. Okay, so start the script. So the uh, sound shape of uh, sound shape uh, which is played in iTunes uh, will show in uh, Blender uh, by uh, Sverchuk. Yeah, of course, uh, you can go inside of the sound. Wow, very good, very interesting. And of course, uh, you can change the number of Sverchuk nodes, so you can change the shape dynamically. It's very interesting. But sometimes uh, freeze. So freeze happen. Wait for why? Okay, so he came back. Yeah, and uh, if I stop the uh, animation, uh, the state will be saved, and uh, I can it's called export this shape uh, to uh, STL file uh, for three D printing. Okay. 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 Of course, of course, I three D printed uh, this shape. Yeah, about three. Uh, uh, it can be three uh, D printed, but uh, taking support material is so hard task. So I gave up to take it. Okay. Yeah, this is a final uh, uh, final project. Uh, I would like to talk today. Conclusion. Our modeling by script is fun, so let's start today. Yeah. Okay. And we are hiring, so if you are interested in, in uh, 3D printing, or if you want to work in Japan, uh, please talk to me uh, tonight's reception or send me to Ashir. Uh, we have now uh, 15 members and uh, some foreigners, Australian and uh, German and uh, uh, Taiwanese. So, yeah. Thank you for your time. Happy Halloween. Okay. Uh, do you have any question? Okay, so if you have uh, something, uh, please talk to me later.